Hello, my name is Miss Kant and I teach your son or daughter for photography and I just wanted to record this video to update you on where the year 11 photographers are at um, and the last few weeks in terms of their deadline and their qualification. So we're aware that this year has been quite unsettled uh, with some work being produced in the classroom but with health and safety restrictions some opportunities may not have been able to be produced um, and quite a lot of work being done at home and I just wanted to reassure you um, that we are aware of that and we've had guidance uh, from the exam boards about how to mark with that in mind. Um, but before we move on to um, talking about that in more detail, um, I just wanted to say how proud I am of each and every um, Year 11 photographer, of how they've been able to keep working um, throughout this year and how they have shown us real maturity um, throughout the um, course as well. Um, so I just wanted to reassure you that we will be marking the Year 11 photographers in a um, similar way to previous years. Um, so we have got um, a marking scheme um, where we mark to their strengths. So we are looking for the strengths within their portfolio. We are aware that some um, evidence may be missing due to the lack of opportunities um, this year. Um, and we will be um, keeping that in mind when we are marking their work. As we move forward to the final deadline in the next few weeks, um, what we are pushing for the students to be doing is to show their skill and the real quality of work. Um, and we'll be producing that in class as well as making sure that um, tasks are being completed at home. So as you can see on the screen at the moment, this is the timeline um, for the coming weeks. So over the next few weeks, um, we will be looking for quality outcomes to be produced to show you um, the skill level and to evidence this um, from your child. Um, the um, as we push forward, um, we want the final week on portfolio to be and for the deadline to be the 19th of May for this. That means that uh, ensuring all work is uploaded, annotated and presented to a really high standard. Um, the students will then be able to sign an authentication, authentication form um, and um, that means that the portfolio is completed. Uh, the week after, um, students will be producing their final outcome and this will be a five hour long day just for photography. Um, this um, five hour um, final outcome day um, will be planned before that they attend the session um, they will be able to um, make a really clear plan for themselves so it shouldn't be something that is scary but it should be something that concludes their project and shows their skill and um, the quality that they are able to produce um, so it's a really exciting day um, to be able to conclude their outcome. Um, they will be signed off after their five hour exam. Um, ours um, for year 11 photography is on the 26th of May. Um, if they are fully complete with their portfolio, they are signed off by half term, meaning that the photography qualification is complete. However, if there is any students um, that we believe would benefit from an extra um, session or two after half term, um, we can put that in place, but we're hoping that all year 11 photographers can be completed by half term. So what can we do in terms of helping your year 11 photographers at home? So students need to ensure that their digital portfolios, this is saved in their Google Drive, is completed with all their work uploaded. Um, so if there is any work on their phones that they've got, that they've taken photo shoots that they've not uploaded, or if there's any work at home or in drawers or under beds anywhere, this needs to be uploaded and ensured that is the best um, quality there. Um, what you can be doing at home is reviewing your child's portfolio with them, checking that they are completing all tasks by their deadline. Student need, students need to complete their practical tasks in lessons to the best of their ability. 
they need to ensure that they are demonstrating their best skills to show the highest quality of work, which will form part of their evidence. Students need to complete their weekly homework tasks and ensure it is completed by the deadline. This is logged in their portfolio and on class charts. And students need to complete their five hour practical assessment. This work will form part of their evidence that will generate their grade. So in the student portfolio, we've got a, um, a task sheet that looks like this. Um, each week, um, the students will be asked to complete um, a series of tasks um, and the deadline will be on a Thursday each week. It is up to the students to ensure that this is complete um, in their lessons and a hour, a minimum of an hour completed at home per week. Um, it is really important that the students are taking photo shoots outside of um, school. Um, by doing this, it makes their project personal and relevant to them, which is a really important part of the qualification. To just rely on taking photographs in the school um, is not enough. Um, it means that the projects become quite repetitive, um, which isn't ideal. Um, as you can see here, there's um, the Photography Knowledge Organiser. Um, this is on their Google Classrooms um, and this will help with annotations. Um, in Photography GCSE, you will need to apply your understanding to your practical and written work. You may all be working on different techniques and skills at different times. So this is a one stop shop for all your information, ideas and techniques. Um, and these are hyperlinked so that you can um, click on a specific formal element to give you some more guidance on that. Um, and here's some photography knowledge organisers, which gives you a bit more information about different techniques and skills. Um, it is really important to analyse the work um, that is produced in um, photography. It gives um, the marker um, more information about why you've produced the work um, and helps us understand um, the, the thoughts behind it. Um, giving a in-depth analysis is um, a good way to um, show that understanding in more detail. Um, and again, this is on the Google Classrooms. Um, and if you are able to um, support your child at home in any way in terms of um, analysing their work or just nudging them to make sure that they are doing it, um, that would be super helpful. Um, again, there's a few more things here. So um, viewing lists of things that the um, photographers can be watching to give them a wider understanding. Um, and now, um, now the world has opened up a little bit more, um, going to places to do photo shoots is going to be super helpful. So we're super lucky in Norwich and Norfolk that we've got such a wide range of places to go. Um, so if your child is exploring architecture, they could be going to UEA or the city centre, or um, if they're exploring nature, um, they, obviously we've got sort of Mousehold Heath and, and loads of um, places right on our doorstep. So if you are able to take your child um, to a location to do a photo shoot or, or um, nudge them to, to look at their surroundings and see, see that actually UEA is not too far away to, to do a photo shoot, that would be extremely helpful. Um, so if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to get in contact with me. Um, my email address is um, here. As I said, my name's Miss Kant um, and I will answer your questions um, to the best of my ability. Um, I just want to thank you um, parents as well for all the support you've been giving your child um, in these unsettling times um, and it is the final push now. So um, making sure that they are um, just showing us our, the skill and the quality and um, showing us the, the amazing work that they are able to produce. Thank you for listening and um, yes, if you have any questions, please, please don't hesitate to get in contact. Thank you.